Lawmakers are advancing a plan to get rid of homeless camps on certain property in the metro and beyond. The Senate and House both pushing forward versions of the same bill. News 9's Matt McCabe is live at the Capitol with why Oklahoma City shelters say it's really not a good idea. Matt? Amanda and Carl, those bills would impose a $50 fine or a 15-day jail sentence on people in homeless encampments on state-owned land. But that bill would also require police at the first time that they interact with those people to help them get the services they need. Tent cities are the focus of Oklahoma's state legislators. In a floor debate in the Senate on Tuesday, Senator Darrell Weaver pushed for a bill to keep homeless encampments off state lands. It's not only a safety issue for families and people that are traveling, but it also, I believe, is a safety issue for the people that are under the bridges. Senator Julia Kurt pushed back, calling the bill too broad. Where are they supposed to go when law enforcement makes them late. So we've got to get them in the shelter. Aaron Gooden, the CEO of the City Rescue Mission, says there are incorrect assumptions at the Capitol about shelter space. They're still going to be unsheltered because the shelters are at or over capacity. The Homeless Alliance agrees, saying in part, quote, as a general rule, criminalizing homelessness is counterproductive, end quote. But the debate continues in the State House. Even individuals that are homeless have some level of responsibility for the safety of themselves and the people around them. Senator Kurt highlighted programs supporting affordable housing in her rebuttal, including Oklahoma City's Key to Home. So rather than just running them off of property, they're actually arranging places for people to stay so they can get back on their feet. City Rescue and the Homeless Alliance feel the same, sharing their hopes that more affordable housing would be a better way to curb statistics. The identical versions of those bills have now each been sent on to the other chamber. If they pass both of those chambers again, they would then be sent to Governor Stitt's desk. Live in Oklahoma City, Matt McCabe, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.